A couple of years ago, two years ago, one of our grade three colleagues at the time I was teaching grade four, she had heard about this grant that FACET, which is part of LEARN, uh, where you're working jointly between French and English language partners to help t to the benefit of the child, to the benefit of the students. So she applied for the grant, but in applying for the grant, because we're such a team type school, she said, well, it can't be just myself and my partner. We need everyone that's part of grade three and grade four because we all work together. Okay, we honestly all were working together on different projects and they accepted all of us. So we were going to these different sessions and different meetings. There was three that were uh, facet meetings at the board where we were required to go and, and learn from them and they gave us ideas and we would work off and off what they were doing. Then we also had days that were released here so we could plan individually as a team because as our part of our plan at that point was we wanted a better way for children to edit and revise their writing across grade three and grade four. We wanted it to be something that was more universal. That way we wouldn't have the confusion of learning um, you know, one way in English, one way in French, or learning one way in grade three and then having to relearn another way in grade four. We wanted it to be something that was more unified between the two grades. And uh, we, that was our main focus. And then within that, we were also able as individuals to have some days that were released for our own individual classroom. My teaching partner and I ended up focusing on reading comprehension and how kids read and learn best. Is it by listening to a text? Is it by reading silently to yourself? Is it by reading out loud? Is it a combination of all of the above? Uh, that became our focus. That was our, our personal mandate. So we developed different strategies and different tools along the way for the writing and for the reading. And then we were asked to share and we've been sharing it throughout the building ever since. So grade three and grade four continue to use it. Um, and then grade five and grade six started adopting it because the children went up through the system and they thought, okay, this sounds great. It's, it's a system that seems to be working. And we've been doing it and perpetuating it ever since. Sometimes it's teaching exactly the same thing in English and in French. Um, so for example, in writing, there's a lot of stuff that's transferable. Um, it could be uh, like, where do you put punctuation, different punctuation? right? That's universal, whether it's English, French, or any other language for that matter. So we would both sometimes be in the classroom, we would teach a lesson jointly, and we would give examples jointly, some English and some French. Sometimes it was something where I would start in English, and it would help build the vocabulary of the students so that when they learned it in French, they would then have the transference that they needed in order to better understand the French content, since French is second language for many of the students that are here. Um, sometimes it was a, a, like a co-teaching model where we're doing one project but it's bilingual and we're kind of throwing things at them from both sides but they all get something, they have a takeaway either way. The students love when they understand, oh my god I just heard that in French class, oh my gosh I just heard that in English class. Like the connection, the eureka of I got it finally where they didn't maybe get it one side, now they've got it in the other side. Like the understanding is transferring. It, it's been huge, some of it, some of the impact, because some of the kids, and now we're seeing them come up through the years, because as I said, it was two years ago. So the grade threes are now in grade five. And to be able to see them, and they're still using some of these tools, they're still using the editing skills because they know that it works, and they can use it in both languages. So for them, there's a comfort level and there's an ease and it makes them feel a little bit maybe less anxious, especially if there's someone that's a little bit more hesitant or less risk taking. They've got that foundation a little bit more solid on the, underneath them and it helps them feel successful. So before doing FACET, uh, when we started looking at UDL, one of the things we had looked at, un at u with UDL, with Universal Design for Learning, we realized that we needed to look at the progression of learning because we needed to have that base point. We needed to have that starting off spot and that, and that ceiling. Like how far do we need to take this? It, it's one thing for us to think if one teacher thinks, well, I need my children to learn how to write paragraphs and another one thinks, well, I need to have them write perfect sentences. There's a huge discrepancy there. So touching base and we had release time to be able to look at the progression of learning and kind of figure out what is our baseline and what is where we want to get the children to. Where, where do we want to have the children reach? And if they reach beyond that, perfect, that's great. But if we can get even the children that are in difficulty to reach that, that level that we've kind of pinpointed, 
it, it's success. It's success for them. It's success for us. It, it's 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 key to a child's feeling of self worth, self worth, and and validation that they're doing the right thing. We're doing the right thing, and that it, it works. The system works.